Christmas celebration being the Friday, let us continue purifying our hearts that become like that of Jesus, the great heart of Jesus, full of mercy, compassion, and love. In a special way, we continue praying for the soul of Noel, Joku, that the good Lord may rest him in peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have betrayed this sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Heavenly Father, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me in the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Let us be our God. While the promise of entering into his rest remains, that none of you seem to have failed. For in fact, we have received the good news that just as our ancestors did, but the word that they heard did not profit them, for they were not united in faith with those who listened. So we who believed enter into the rest, just as he said, as I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. And yet, his work was accomplished at the foundation of the world. For he has spoken somewhere about the seventh day in this manner. And God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again, in the previously mentioned place, they shall not enter into my rest. Therefore, let us strive to enter into that rest, so that no one may fall after the same example of disobedience. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Psalm. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. What we have heard and known, and what our fathers have declared to us, we will declare to the generations to come the glorious deeds of the Lord and his strength. Do the Lord, Lord, the Lord, the Lord, that they too may rise and declare to their sons that they should be put their hope in God and not forget the deeds of God, <coughs> but keep his commands. Do the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, and not be like their fathers, a generation wayward and rebellious, a generation, they, not, they kept not its heart steadfast, nor its spirit faithful toward God. Do not forget the words of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it became known that he was at home. Many gathered together so that there was no longer room for them, not even around the door, and he preached the word to them. They came bringing to him a paralytic <coughs> carried by four men, unable to get near, near Jesus because of the crowd, they opened up the roof above him. After they had broken through, they laid down the mat on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to him, Child, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there, asking themselves, Why does this man speak that way? He is blaspheming. Who but God alone can forgive sins? But immediately Jesus, immediately, Jesus immediately knew in his mind what they were thinking to themselves. So he said, Why are you thinking such things in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise, pick up your mat, and walk but that you may know that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sins on earth, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, pick up your mat, and go home. He rose, picked up his mat at once, and went away in the sight of everyone. They were all astounded and glorified God, saying, we have never seen anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. The psalm of today is so enriching and invites us with these words. Do not forget the words of the Lord. God is always good with us. God has done a lot in our lives in our families, more so for us who are here up to this hour, listening to his word. It's not something we take for granted. It's God who has put that seed of faith, that seed of courage, of coming to listen to him. Even when the weather is not so friendly, we are always here. So this is a miracle in our, our lives. God moves with us. In the first reading, we are reminded to strive and work hard to rest in the house of God, to be in the house of God. Being in the house of God and having everything at peace with you doesn't mean that I'm going for vacation, I'm going to maybe a certain far away place, I stay there without thinking of other things, family issues, work issues, and all the challenges I face in my life. It means that you create that opportunity to think of God, to listen to His Word, and also to have that courage to put the Word of God in, in action. Then you will be at rest. Remember, remembering the words of St. Augustine, our hearts are restless until they rest in, in you, Lord. He tried to find joy, happiness in everything. He never found until he returned to God and, and there he found his heart was at peace. <coughs> then uh, we find that in the same resting in the house of God is not for all. It's only for those who listen the word of God attentively and open their hearts to, re to the graces it brings with. And they were having that courage to put it in practice. Not all. Many listen to it, but majority of our friends, our brothers and sisters, 
they disobey it. So as we continue with this ordinary period of time, let us consolidate our faith in Jesus. Let us renew our hope in Jesus himself. And let us put the virtue of charity into action. And this can be attained only through faith, active faith, which makes us to move ahead. It was through this active faith that these four men in the gospel we hear today, they brought this paralytic to Jesus. The four men, the number four, means four angles of the earth, north, south, east, west. All the races are called to carry the paralytic to Jesus. This man could not have, did not have courage, did not have strength to come to Jesus because he was paralytic. He did not have strength. It was his friends who thought of him and knew exactly where to take him. And Jesus, seeing their faith again, he said, Son, O child, your sins are forgiven. These friends saw only the physical sickness. Jesus, before healing the physical sickness, he first saw the spiritual sickness. And he said, your sins are forgiven. We need to think about which kind of friends do I have? Are the friends who can take me to Jesus to pray for me, to intercede for me to Jesus when I'm down? Or are there friends who remain aloof when I'm in challenges, I'm having paralysis? Which kind of paralysis makes me to lie on the bed, on the mat, of not going to Jesus? Bring it to Jesus through prayer. For example, we pray then for our, living, our, our dead, because they are parala paralyzed. They cannot have, they don't have strength to come to Jesus. It is through the prayers that we raise these souls to Jesus. And this one can be remembered again by St. Monica, who asked his sons, St. Augustine, that remember only one thing for me. Whenever you celebrate Mass at the altar, remember to pray for my soul. She knew exactly what was important. She knew that she could not do it alone. So for our living day, we intercede for them. For them. We have many people at home, and our families, friends who are paralyzed, who are addicted with different uh, mentality attitudes. Bring them to Jesus through prayer. And let us do that with faith and hope in Jesus himself. Let us not be scandalized like the scribes. Seeing this man being healed, they ask, who is this one? And Jesus, what is more efficient? To forgive sins or to tell this man, wake up, carry your mat, and go. Which type of paralysis makes me to be on the mat? Jesus is telling you today, wake up, carry your mat, and follow me and all will be well with you. Amen. Inspired by the confidence in our loving Lord, we bring to him our needs and petitions for the church. May the Lord rise up holy men and women as faithful disciples and stewards. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear us. For civic leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide them in promoting justice and equity for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear us. For those who suffer from physical burdens, may Christ bring them healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear us. For this community of faith, may the love of Jesus conform each of us more closely to him, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our For our beloved dead, in a special way, Noel Joku. May they now enjoy the fullness of life with God in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our For our special petitions, we present them to the Lord in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Father, of mercy and love, we humbly ask you to look kindly upon these needs. We ask this through Christ our Lord. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this soul of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood 
blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chance of salvation, giving thanks that you have kept us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Also we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mary with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as to heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every people. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, defend our sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, defend our sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take our sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you enter my life, but only save all of my soul shall be
Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with life pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.